All right, game 16 at Classic in the Country 11. This is one that I think a lot of people are going to look forward to. Uh, it's a couple of teams that aren't very close together in terms of where they stand in the, in the nation uh, geographically, exactly. but it's two teams that know each other, I think, a little bit more than people would expect. There is some familiarity. Both, uh, both teams played in the prestigious Best of Maryland uh, uh, July event, which is considered the classic in the country in July for high schools. Uh, it's run by our good friend Steve Pizarski, also sponsored by Under Armour. And uh, both teams uh, were invited. There were 24 teams there uh, who were fared very well down there. Uh, however, Regis Jesuit <laughs> fared a little better, and they, Regis Jesuit did run the table and went 7-0 and yeah. uh, down there. But uh, every year we have an opportunity because of our relationship with uh, Coach Bozarski down there. He also coaches Damascus that was here last year, uh, where we can get four Ohio schools uh, in that prestigious mm -hmm. event. And uh, if you look look at this, uh, it was funny because both teams had a chance to scout each other while they were down there. And I got a phone call from Terry Moore, uh, Abby Alberding's uh, dad, mm -hmm. um, that uh, is also assistant coach uh, for his daughter, has been there from back in the Wackerly years as well. And Terry called me and says, uh, hey, Tom, you didn't do us any favors by matching this up against Regis <laughs> Jesuit. Uh, at Classic in the Country, but uh, because of the Hoover way and how tough those kids are, I uh, fully expect them to compete. And, uh, you know, that's all you can do is compete. Yeah. If Hoover can keep the game close, you know, in the fourth quarter, who knows what, what will happen there. Uh, Regis Jesuit on the other end, uh, it's the, uh, uh, you know, they, they don't play on Sundays. Uh, so they would have played Saturday. They would have had Sunday where they, you know, laid around a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um, it's, uh, uh, you know, uh, Hoover's second game, and so, uh, uh, you know, Hoover will be primed and ready, and it's, it's a big game to take on a top 10 team in the country, and there's a chance for Hoover to make a statement about their program and about Ohio right. girls basketball. You know, how, how important is it for teams, whether it's at the, at the Maryland's best of the best or here at the Classic, to play at this level of competition? How does that how does that benefit a team? Because you want to play that good competition. How important is that? Well, and I, I actually spoke with uh, uh, the parent of a top player uh, from Northwest Ohio that played in the event last year, and uh, their team is a very good team. But they got beat by Hathaway Brown here, and as did everybody else. <laughs> yeah, yeah and, uh, <laughs> uh, but we talked about being in championship condition. Mm -hmm. And there's a, le there's a different level between being in good condition and championship level, uh, both mentally and physically. Yeah. And I think playing in these events help contribute because you get to see what kind of shape you got to be in, both physically and mentally, to play at a championship level. Absolutely. Well, we'll find out what kind of physical and mental shape both Hoover and Jesuit are in. Uh, both their second games, and it should be a, should be a knockdown drag out in game 16 at Classic in the Country 11.